Hey chaps, so um, somebody commented on one of my videos asking if um, we can build mono game content using the NuGet package process. Um, now it's not really doable using the uh, NuGet package as is because when you install mono game using the official installer, it adds some. Um, pretty little you know project templates which contain a lot of other targets and properties which help build the content using their pipeline tool which comes with the installer when you use the NuGet package you don't get the pipeline tool by default so you have to find another means of including that and then importing that behavior into your project's build process so as you can imagine that's a little bit involving it's potentially something you might want to avoid because oh these are sort of things you just expect out of the box really let's be honest so what I did was I made my own package which did all this for you so when you install that package you get the content project and the pipeline tool with it um, there is another package out there which tries to do the same thing and I say tries because it failed for me numerous times I couldn't get it working and there was no there was no actual help on what might be wrong with it and the error was a bit of a strange one and I couldn't quite figure it out so I just went about my own way of making it myself um, that seems fine across Visual Studio 2015 and 2017 so far so I pu I've published it, you guys can get all of it I'm going to show you how to install it and how to use it Okay. so what we need to do is we need to create a new console app as they are called in Visual Studio 2017 Okay create him okay so here we are with a bare bones project and we want to manage new get to packages over here and we want to browse and when we browse we can search for mono game content builder and there is mine at the top right there okay the one underneath it is the other one I was telling you about uh, this may well work for you guys you know definitely give it a try let me know um, if there's a problem with it, maybe the guy himself needs to know. I wasn't sure if it was just something to do with my setup. I couldn't get it working personally. Um, either way, there is more than one choice now, at least. Okay, so if we just install that, it takes a little while. It's about 30, 40 megs. Um, so I'm going to switch to another project where I've already installed it locally. Just to save you guys the hassle of watching a bar spin around for a millennia. And listening to me chat bubbles for half an hour. Okay, so... I'm going to do the same here, but this should be much quicker because I've already installed it once locally, so it should be cached. Okay, so we'll install him. And we get the README. And here is some usage guidance here, which I'm basically going to talk about in the in the video, so you know, don't worry about that. Uh, the issue I encountered was this one here. Um, when I tried building, I got a lot of errors about Direct3D missing that and the other. Um, it's basically just about me not having the latest version of DirectX installed following a fresh install of Windows. So I just installed the latest version of DirectX and away I was. Um, so if you guys encounter similar problems, that is the way to go to fix that one. Okay. Alright, so we've installed the package, okay? And we have content folder with a content project in it. This is pretty much how you would receive the content pipeline using the installed version of Monogame. Um, when I click on this currently, you know it's asked me to open it with something because it hasn't got a clue what I'm supposed to open it with. In some cases, it may just open in the text editor over here because it doesn't know if you don't have the pipeline at all um, installed already. So if you haven't installed Monogame, you will get this behavior where it doesn't know how to open it like this. If you've installed the Monogame, framework using the official installer that should just open the pipeline tool already if you've not this is a bit of a manual step but it's just a you know a one time thing for this particular uh, particular project and we can fix that by going to open with here and there's nothing here already for modern game at all no so if we add and we just want to find the program we're opening with and this is located okay so if you go to your project folder and then the packages folder because that is where you've just installed the new get package too uh, we go to the folder of the package we've installed. Under there, there's a tools folder and then the pipeline. You know, if we open that, 
add that and then upon doing so it should show up in the list here if you just set that as default okay now it should have opened in, in the actual pipeline tool but if we close it again and double click it should open in the pipeline tool from there onwards um, if we go to project folder and go to where it builds the content or where it builds the actual project itself uh, let's give that a delete so we're fresh okay let's, uh, let's give that a build let's give the project a build okay so we've got our normal folder here sort of structure we get normally when we're building an application now what we're going to do is we're going to add some content to our content project right um, we'll just use one of the built in ones so we're going to go for my uh, we'll use an fx file my super duper awesome effect Okay, we'll save him. Right, what we can do is we can build the concept from here, but we're not going to. The whole point of this process is we let Visual Studio do this for us. Okay, we just add the content. We don't want to worry about building it every time here and then building in Visual Studio. It's a bit of a laborious task, really. Why should we have to do it twice? I sound like a real developer there, really, don't I? I apologize. Okay, so if we build the project now in Visual Studio, and then hop back to the build folder. Now you see we've got a content folder now, and that has our resulting XNB file. So we can load that using the content pipeline uh, in the code. You might as well use it, it's a very powerful tool. I can appreciate why people want to do this. And now we've got the tools when using the NuGet package just to import this functionality into your project. Um, and I think that about covers it, guys. You know, that's as, as simple as it gets. If you have any problems, do let me know. I think this about covers everything necessary to be able to achieve this goal of building content as part of the build process. Um, if there's anything else, you know, do let me know. And happy game making. Cheers.